All right, so it's getting closer and closer to spooky season, and with that, all the horror movies are coming out. The latest one has tons of people talking about it, but for the most part, it's in a negative way. I saw the trailer, and I it just looked bad. I couldn't help it, but I try to keep an open mind. Today, I'm here to give you all my thoughts and opinions after seeing Rob Zombie's The Monsters. So this movie in particular has an interesting history. Some of it was probably not even true, but regardless, there was a decent amount of people online posting articles about how this was going to be a fairly budgeted film, PG-13 rating, just like a modernized dark comedy, you know? The last thing I saw with the Munsters was there was this obscure Halloween special back in the day with like Jerry O'Connell, Portia Duraldi, it was called Mockingbird Lane. And if y'all see that, Brian Singer dumped like $10 million into the pilot of the show, ended up just being a special and didn't get past that, but I thought it was cool. I just thought that's the direction they were going. But then, the trailer dropped, people saw the low budget, the cringe humor, and everyone for the most part rejected it. And with that gave people another reason to shit talk on Sherry Moon Zombie's acting. So much so that Rob himself had to release a statement. So okay, clear my expectations and just go in with what I know. The movie is a prequel to the 60s sitcom and this is about Herman and Lily falling in love whilst the father tries to prevent it and hijinks ensue. There's not much I could spoil with this movie, but I'll keep it a little vague. Surprisingly? I I was entertained by this. Rob Zombie, you could tell, was a passion project for him. He did a great job matching the tone, the humor, I mean, for better or for worse, the budget too. The one scene Lily is on a date with this guy and like even in real life, you'd be on a date with someone and you'd be like, oh yeah, I have a dog or I have a brother or sister, I went here or there. You bring out your phone and show them a few pictures, stuff like that, try not to let it distract too much, but the one scene the dude's like, oh, I have some rats, do you want to see? You'd think normally it was a phone, but obviously it's in the 60s, so he whips out these old, dusty-ass looking brown photos of him and the rat. I, like, I like when they take modern tropes and just kind of rewind it back in a way. It's just stupid shit like that in this movie that I think works so well. You just have to go into the mindset to expect that kind of campiness as you would from the 60s sitcom. The only thing is though, the target audience is definitely like a niche thing. You have the Wednesday Adam show coming out and they're obviously modernizing the character. Doing something in the vein of a 60s show is definitely unique. I just feel like a modernized show or movie with some retro flair will definitely appeal to a wider audience than something like this to where it's an older style thing with a little bit of modern flair in it. Nevertheless, the cast was fun, their acting was over the top, and just watching all of them interact, I would have loved to have been on that set. Like making a movie where your acting doesn't have to be good, and you can just make the project you intended to make, with silly costumes, wonky looking green screen, and all that other stuff. It's just that old timey charm that they kind of recaptured, you know? I mean, I can only imagine Elizabeth Olsen felt like that way when she was doing the earlier sequences in WandaVision. Even though I was entertained and had a fun time, the movie isn't great. There was definitely campy humor and dark stuff in here, but I don't know, the jokes, I feel this could have been like better timed, a little bit more well-written. It's hard to describe, like sometimes it kind of felt like I was watching a parody of the monsters and not actually a prequel that would lead into the actual series. I mean, maybe it's just my brain getting confused, but if the movie was in black and white, had some of those classical music cues in it, and like that old timey film grain, like maybe that's what have made it click in my head more. This is more of a nitpick too, but the dude who played Herman Munster, like fine job and all. I don't know, his voice just was like a little bit too whiny and like, like Fred Gwynn was like bellowing and just like, he still was a big silly oaf, but sounded commanding, you know? So it's a weird mix. Do I think the movie's bad or anything like that? No if you know what you're getting yourself into. Personally, for me, I love the costumes, the camera movements, transitions, the sets look cool, and my personal favorite was Grandpa. Dude was always stealing the show whatever scene he was in. And another highlight is just seeing the monsters be completely oblivious to how humans react to them. Rob Zombie movies are kind of like Adam Sandler movies. They definitely have their fans, and there's an audience out there that loves everything they do. But if you aren't into them, or their crew that usually returns for every project they put out. I don't think this is gonna land for you. So I definitely recommend this. If y'all wanna have some dumb, nostalgic fun this Halloween season, this is definitely a well-timed movie for the release. I mean, Hubie Halloween. 
Hoobie Halloween, however you want to say it. Like, people shit on that movie too, but I kind of liked it. Like, I thought it was fun. If you weren't feeling this from the trailers or saw it and didn't like it, let me know what you guys think would be the perfect idea for a Monsters reboot. Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Thank you.